Okay guys, I really think I found like a hidden gem of a math curriculum for preschool. Let's talk about it. If you're new here, I'm Ryan, a Christ following wife and a homeschool mom to three boys. Here we talk all things homeschool and we will learn together how to use our roles as wife, mom, teacher, and homemaker in order to glorify God. For me, preschool math, I've gone back and forth. I've used just the regular workbook where, you know, here are three fish and you write the number three and then there's a plus sign and then there's two more fish and you write the number two and then there's a picture of five fish and you write the number five, right? Um, and that's kind of stuff I remember doing when I was a kid. And I think that stuff has its place and is well and good. Um, but I think math needs to be a little more hands-on for younger kids, especially. And so then I've also done the complete opposite where I've done just play with these manipulatives and here, show me three teddy bears and they show you the three teddy bears and you take one away and all the things. And I think that's good too. But I was looking for something kind of in between and I think I've actually found that. And what we're gonna talk about today is mathematical reasoning. And this is by the Critical Thinking Company. And this is something that I just was looking around YouTube one day, saw that someone was using it. I'm like, what's that? And I looked into it. I have not looked at their older grades. So if you have any questions about that, I am not the one to ask. But I picked this up for my four-year-old at the beginning of this school year. And so far we are loving it. We did go ahead and get two books because one, they were at our local homeschool shop for next to nothing and they were not written in and both of them were there. So I just picked them both up. But also my son was four at the beginning of the school year. He won't turn five until next semester. But these books, the first one is meant for age three and then the second book is meant for age four. So really this should have been what he went through this whole school year. However, because this approach is quite different from anything that he's ever done before, I wanted to go ahead and let him do the one for age three and we've flown through it really fast. So we are almost done with this and we're not to semester yet. So I think we can easily finish both of these at least by the end of next summer before we start his kindergarten curriculum. But chances are we'll probably get done even before that. So this is gonna look a lot different than anything you typically see in a math curriculum. So just for reference, we use sunlight for his core, for his pre-K. And with that, they work a lot on recognizing numbers and we've started to work on, you know, using a, I forget what they call it. It's like a tens block, but it's not a block anyway. Um, but like seeing tens versus 100s versus singles, right? So we started working a little bit on that, um, but it's a lot of number recognition and counting, pretty basic stuff. Um, they don't go very much into math. So I wanted something else to go along with this. And so when I found this, I, th I was like, I think this is what I want. So there is very minimal handwriting in this. This is a lot of tell me, point, look at, touch, blah, 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 blah. So when you're very first beginnings, this is supposed to be a three-year-old's level. This is simple, touch and count. So you have numbers, you count the objects, very basic stuff. And then there's also pages like this, where it's like find um, the black triangle. So they have to find the color and the shape. Then there are things like this, how many caps are there, color three of them, how many circles, color three of them. So it's listening to verbal commands and then following through with those. So this is a lot of, you know, it's called mathematical reasoning for a reason. It is not just adding, subtracting. Yes, they do touch on that, but it's a lot of look, listen, obey, right? So it's a lot of what is my mom telling me? Now let me look at that and now let me do it. Um, so here's another example. Point to each group with four fish, point to the ones with two fish. This one, count out loud and put each baby with a car seat. How many car seats you have left over? That kind of thing. Um, they really focus on, in this younger grade, wanting you to be able to look at a picture and without counting one by one, know how many are in there. You know, obviously like smaller numbers, but to be able to look at three ducks and not have to go one, two, three, but to look and go, oh, that's three ducks, right? They talk a lot about um, most, fewest, longest, shortest. They talk about ordinal numbers and about, you know, standing in line, who's first, who's second, who's third, and then stuff like this, like this is data analysis. So which one of the two things would be faster, right? 
Um, this one, you see a whole picture, but then I ask you very specific questions. Is the book on or in the table? Is the cat outside or inside? How many flowers are there? Things like that. So throughout the whole thing, they're working on counting. They're working on fractions. Now that sounds kind of weird, but how many out of the four people are wearing a blue shirt? Two out of four. Okay, so not fraction fractions. Um, then there's work on language. So again, following those directions. Um, manipulatives, there's matching, there's ordering, there's patterns, there's shapes, and subtraction. So it touches on a lot of the basics, but in a very, I like it because it's tangible, but there's not a lot of little pieces, right? I don't have to get out all the manipulatives, like it's all right here, but it's very much point and say, or trace this line or do whatever. There's very little um, like busy work, handwriting type stuff. So that is for age three. This one is called beginning two of mathematical reasoning. And this is for age four. So like I said, we'll start this one right around semester. So again, we're gonna match our numbers with the number of fingers they're holding up, the dots with the numbers. This is kind of number recognition type stuff. You're gonna do some geometry. So count the number of sides and the number of corners, and you're gonna trace them or draw them. Then we get into actually making our numbers, which sunlight works really heavily on writing your numbers earlier. So it's just kind of a, of a reversal on how they choose to do things. And then this, we're putting things into groups. So these are things with different shapes. You have to draw a line to connect them to which group they belong in. Again, working on some more um, ordering and what is the color of the circle below the red square? So they have to find the red square, then they have to think below, above, behind, all those different things. Then this, you're finding which thing does not belong in each set. Okay, and then toward the end of the year, you would be actually writing the numbers on which things they go to. Um, these were some of my son's favorite. I forgot to mention these in book three, or age three book. So these are the Can You Find Me? And some of these are pretty tricky. So it's a little poem. You read the poem out loud and they have to find which one the poem is talking about. So this one says, if I cut four, there will still be more, but only a few and a few would be two. Of the three pictures that you see, tell me now, can you find me? And so you're looking at his hair. So it's obviously not gonna be the one that has four hairs because it says if I cut four, there would still be more. So it's not that guy. So is it this guy or this guy? Well, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six. This one has five and it says, but only a few, if you would be two. So if I cut four, there'd be two left. So instead of just saying, okay, which one has enough hair that when you cut four, there'd be two. They say it in a rhyme so that your kid really has to like sit and think about it. And my son did so well on those and they're really interesting to me. So this, the scope and sequence, it's very similar. Addition, application, counting, fractions, language, logic, manipulative, match, order, pattern, shape, subtraction. So there's a little bit of differences in what they learn, um, but they're using number and operations, they're using algebra, geometry, measurement, data analysis, and prob probability. So this is just laying the foundations for more logic-based learning as they get older. And that's what I like about those little poems is that you really have to, you know, use deductive reasoning and logic to get that answer. So I am loving this so far. It is definitely not a traditional math curriculum, um, but it is something that I would definitely give a try if you are looking for something that's not just your basic workbook and not just basic, oh, let them play and they'll learn how to do it. I like a little bit of both of those approaches and, um, and I think this kind of meets in the middle. It is enough by itself, but I think it also could be very much a supplemental thing. If you have something else that you're loving and using, but you're kind of wanting to get that logic side of things in, I highly recommend this. So you guys had asked for this flip through. It was not super in-depth, but it's really just very point blank. Um, you don't need anything else other than these books to teach it. And I feel like my son has learned a lot. So even though he's four and working through the age three thing, we're just kind of work, working through how to do this. Um, and like I said, he's also getting the little bit of math that sunlight throws in there. So I'm hoping by the end of beginnings two, which is the ones for age four, that it'll be kind of more of a challenge for him, but maybe not, we'll see. And as far as kindergarten, our plan right now is to still go into Saxon math, but I will definitely be looking at the kindergarten level of this and just kind of seeing if it's something we want to maybe switch to, but definitely maybe something we would use as a supplement. So let me know down below, are there any other flip throughs or 
um, curriculum that you'd like me to look through that I'm currently using that you'd like to learn more about. And I thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.